What's up guys, my name is Sipsy and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today we're going to be talking about the Moments Giroud objectives, how to get these done a lot quicker and a team that you can use to get this done super fast. So let's jump straight into the objectives. Uh, the first one's a bit of a weird one, we've not seen this before. You need to assist two goals using left wingers specifically in the live foot friendly manager or masterpiece mode. So obviously there's going to be a lot of people playing manager or masterpiece mode, there's so many objectives in there right now. Uh, you also need to score a finesse goal in three separate matches using French players in the live foot friendlies. Uh, you need to score 10 goals using Premier League forwards, so left wing, right wing, left forward, right forward, strikers, centre forwards are all going to count for that. Uh, you also need to win 8 matches using at least 2 French players in your lineup and score in 15 matches using Premier League players. So it's going to take you at least 15 games to get this done. First thing to note is that of course there is the Premier League player 2 which requires winning 15 matches using only Premier League players. So if you combine those, if you haven't done Neves yet, if you're wanting to play for Giroud, then you can get this Neves one done straight away through the exact same thing, provided you just use 11 Premier League players in your starting lineup. Shouldn't be hard, there's French players in this team that I've built anyway. So that will meet the requirements for both this Neves objective and also for the Giroud at the same time. So, you know, big brain stuff, combining the objectives, gets it done, saves you a bunch of time, and that's basically it. So overall, the only weird one in here is the, the left wingers objective, but basically it's a standard Prem objectives one, and uh, the team is going to be pretty similar to what we've been using mostly. And I'm going to show you a way to combine it as well with the Irish objective so that you can get three sets of objectives done at the same time. So let's jump straight into the team. So on the screen, guys, is the team that I have gone for. I mean, you, you can switch this up quite easily. It's a Premier League one. It's going to be very simple to do, but I've just given you some of the OP players, and obviously this is working with that uh, 77 rating. If you are someone that held that one to watch Jota and has now benefited from his upgrade, him being a left winger is going to be very beneficial to you in this. I would suggest that you take either two left mids or two left wings. Make sure you convert them to left wing, which I would do with St. Maximum before I play these games. Uh, so that you've got two left wingers and then you can across from either side in this 4-3-3. And then, of course, once you've done that objective, that is done, you can replace them with a right mid. Maybe you want to go with Adama on the right-hand side and then save your rating for Jota. Put in a better player somewhere else, either at the back or in midfield. Uh, for the French options, I would suggest, I mean, I've gone for Sissoko in here because he just fits the meta of this. He's very overpowered for that rating. St. Maximan is probably going to be the go-to in this, I would say. He's going to be able to be a left winger. He's French. Premier League, scoring with him, assisting with him is going to help with all of the objectives in this one. Uh, and then for the striker, I've gone for Anthony Martial because sweaty French Premier League striker fits the matter of all of the objectives for getting this done. Uh, in the midfield, we've got Gedson Fernandez, we've got Gabamin, and we've got Sissoko, of course. Uh, at the back, we've gone for Fredericks, as usual. Yedlin is another option there. Tomori, fantastic for this mode, can't say enough about him. Uh, Eric Bailly, because we couldn't quite fit uh, Joe Gomez into this rating. Simicast at left back, as usual, and we've gone for Pope in goal, just because he is the... Uh, the goalkeeper this year so essentially that's the team that i've gone for if however you were looking at wanting to do this objective with the irish players at the same time this will i would say inhibit your team a little bit because the irish players aren't always the best ones so you could take out gabamin for mccarthy for example you could swap in stevens at left back you could put in coleman at right back and then you could put uh, Hurahan in in centre mid, and then you probably would have to uh, compromise a little bit on one of the ratings for one of the defenders. So if you swapped uh, Bailly out for maybe Fredericks, or if you go for a different centre-back that's slightly lower rated, and then maybe if you were taking Jota out and playing a different winger there, for instance, just lower rated, we'll use Doherty just as an example, um, then you can include four Irish players, which is the only real uh, requirement of the objective for the Irish one, and then you'll be able to get them both done at the same time, along with Neves, which should just come naturally from playing with a full Premier League side, provided you don't switch it up and try and hybrid for any French players, you're going to be fine. The only requirements are that you have two French players, you score with Premier League players in the games, so I would say run a full Prem side, you're going to get that Neves objective done alongside it. If you run a full Prem side with four Irish players, you're going to get that objective done alongside it. So there's three lots there that are all done. And then on the bench, you can have whoever you want. Uh, again, we're using the silver bench method uh, to bring the ratings down and then all just 75s. Well, with the exception of Gabam in there, which we've not done strategically. But essentially, that's what you can do. Oh, there you go. So we can use Jota and the team there anyway. So essentially, that's basically it. All you need to do, build a nice Prem squad. Get yourself four Irish players in there if you haven't done the Irish objectives. I would say that they're not going to inhibit your team too much, but if you're not really fussed about the Irish players, you don't really care, or if you've done them already, then I would say go for a full-strength Prem team and avoid the Irish players because they're not the best in this game. Uh, but overall, you can combine those three objectives. should save you a heap of time, and you'll be able to get these objectives done quite easily. If you like the video, guys, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe to me, you can. 
Make sure to check me out on the socials below. My name's Sophie, and I'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.